Yo, what up, y'all? Intravenous here, back with another episode of POO Game Review and Music. I've been toying around with these Android emulator, these Chinese handheld devices. You know what I'm talking about, most likely. It started a few years ago, and ever since then, every six months or so, one of these devices in a different shape with a slightly different chipset slightly different software it comes out and they ship from china they're loaded with roms all the games you remember from your childhood and every time one comes out it gets a little stronger a little more powerful and i've collected several i was into it sort of but they all played only up until like the sega dreamcast and then they kind of stuttered well last year the 405 gv or the rg 405 v from Ambernet came out and it really blew my mind because it could actually handle a large amount of PS2 games. Granted, they all had to be downscaled instead of upscaled, but when you're on a smaller screen, it actually looked just as good, if not better, than the original games when you played them back in the day. Sometimes. But then, lo and behold, at the beginning of 2024, Retroid. A company that's similar to Ambernick put out this device. The only thing that's different here mainly is Retroid doesn't seem that I know of to offer a preloaded game console. So you have to you have to you get a clean slate here and you put all the games on yourself, put all the software or whatever, you try you dress it up, make it do everything you can possibly make it do, but it's all on you. And this was all on me, and it took, you know, I've had it a couple months now, and I've been tinkering with it constantly. Constantly adding games, and, and you can do scraping, which is where it'll, it'll go through your list of games, or individual games, and you can grab the, the cover art, and videos of the game playing, descriptions, gives you the genre, and the year it came out, all that stuff, and really dresses up your console. Anyhow, y'all probably know about this because I did do a couple videos on the Retroid Pocket 4 Pro already. This time, though, I'm going to show you that it works on the TV. And not wirelessly. This thing docks just like the Nintendo Switch. And I mean just like it. It's got USB-C to video out on the bottom. And there's several options here. I've grabbed a dock. I've got a different one coming. I'll do a separate video describing docks to you. But for now, let's go ahead and put it on that dock. And I'll show you how well it works. With the controller, we'll be playing PS2 games, Nintendo Wii games, GameCube games, PSP games, all upscaled. Meaning they're going to look like remasters. So, here we go. All right, y'all, so I'm going to be down here in the corner, and I'll show you the controller every once in a while while I'm doing some gameplay footage and showing you the screen up here. This is all coming from the Retroid Pocket 4 Pro that's docked. It immediately switches over to video when you put it on the dock, as long as you're on the right HDMI channel. So here I have this set up. Bluetooth is already turned on there, and I'm going to turn on my 8-bit uh, Doe controller connected really quickly so you'll see here that I've got uh, we have Minecraft and Dead Cells you can play games like that on here and I'll go ahead and show you Minecraft just so you can see what it looks like on the big TV here Here we go, I'm playing Minecraft. This is the, I guess, the Android version. I bought it on the Google Play Store. I haven't played it that much, but it's cheap. It doesn't look half bad, but you know it's Minecraft. 
but Minecraft isn't really what you're here to see. So let's go ahead. I've got emulation station built in here, which is a front end that really cleans everything up. That's where I scrape my info. And by the way, you can set this to have the screen on or off. I like to set it so where it turns off while you're docked, but I have also shown it in pictures online. You might have seen uh, even a video, I think, where I did that in the docks, got it on as well. It just depends on what you might want. You probably want it off. Here is Emulation Station. Now the cool thing about Emulation Station is the layout. So you can choose all these different themes the way this looks. You can even make custom collections. Like this Mario Brothers collection I've got here and this Zelda collection. So in my Mario collection I have everything from Super Mario Bros. Wii down to the first Mario Bros. Now let's go ahead and get into some Super Mario Bros. Wii and I'll show you how well this plays. Alright, here we have it. So you can see the controller. games like this you can sync the motion controls to buttons so I have anytime where it asks you to shake the controller instead I have it set to a button I also have buttons set where you need to tilt the controller because this does not have built-in motion in this controller if you had a controller with built-in motion you could do that I don't think this one does that I'm not going to try to get any of the special coins or anything. This is just basically me showing you how well this game works on the Nintendo Wii. We're not going to play it too long here. At least get to that first spot. But check it out. Let's press the buttons here. Let's see, I got that set. That's usually like a shake. Usually you have to shake, I think, to do that. So, you know. And you can get right back out of there with the, there's a built-in home button on most of these controllers. So let's see here, let's try some Super Mario Sunshine. Here we have Mario Sunshine. I have some widescreen hacks turned on. Uh, normally I don't play it that way, but just to show you that there's the option, you can full screen your GameCube games. Though when you're on the TV, you might not want to full screen it. And so, the easiest way to, e to enter a lot of these option menus I found out is you can activate a virtual mouse on here. I set it to hold down these L3 and R3 buttons for three seconds and it turns your controller into a mouse. Then you can drag from the side and access your menu. So I'm going to go to the graphics settings and switch the aspect ratio to uh, auto. And then I'll hold those again. And there it goes. So here we have 
some GameCube action. Now there's actually upscalers that you can use, like the M Classic from Marcel, that um, will make this look even smoother. I usually use that on my larger TV in the other room. If you guys wanted me to show you a video, a comparison of that, that's cool. I could do that. So... I'm just spraying things. <laughs> it's fun to spray these guys in the face. Alright, let's go. I got a lot of PS2 games on here, but you know we should probably go ahead and play Spawn. It's fitting for the channel. It's a great game, Spawn Armageddon. It was on the GameCube, the Xbox, and the PS2. Got my save state here. I'm at like the worst part of the game, which is when you're learning these stupid platformings using your claws or your chains, which is very can be confusing.
Looks like we've outstayed our welcome, sir. We've lost contact with the defenders down by the beach. They must have been eliminated. It's a safe bet the troops are on their way. Also, two men have already entered the castle. Up on the balcony! Get him! Get everyone below! There goes their leader. If anyone knows about the crystals, it's him. Hurry! He's getting away! Some graphical glitches going on there with the lights going through characters. Sometimes you run into stuff like that on emulation. You might be able to change the renderer to make it disappear, but that wasn't too bad. Let's go ahead and wrap this up with some PSP gameplay. Alright y'all, so there you get an idea of what's going on behind me there. Controlling the Retroid Pocket 4 Pro with a controller over here. That's pretty awesome. Uh, not only can you do that, but I also have a actual motion sensor bar on the way that'll let me use real Wii controls on Wii emulation. That means I could play things like Wii Sports and stuff on here. All the Wii games. If you're someone like me that's like in your mid 30s and you grew up with all this stuff and you want it all in one place and to play it like a Nintendo Switch but you're not really into the newer games, you want to play all the good stuff in the old days, well, yo. Anyways, thanks for sticking around to the end. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really helps me out and reminds me that people are watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Well, that was Peace childhood. Out. We were all there together. And in denial would play like it was forever. And in the tall woods, we'd stay out of the weather. Like it was all good. Every day we made it for pleasure. We were saying whatever came to our minds. Plain and simple like a tetherball reaching the sky. We were taking new heights on the swing while it was making us fly. Beat the king of the hill and everything will be fine.